there. How are you doing today? Do you feel like doing a little bit of DIYing? Come on in. Let's get started. What do I have going on for you for today? Well, it's almost that time. What time? Almost time to put our Christmas trees up, but it's not quite time yet which means we still have time to do some DIY ornaments. Today, I'm bringing to you 10 quick, easy, and mm -hmm, you guessed it, budget-friendly DIY Christmas ornaments that are gonna add that rustic feel onto your Christmas tree. I say get the family together one night and have a DIY ornament night. Make it a tradition because that's what I'm doing and add these ornaments onto your tree each year. I can't wait to show you these DIY ornaments. I think you're gonna love them. So I'm gonna quit my gabbing, let's jump into it and let's do some Christmas tree DIYing on a budget because that's what we do here. Let's get to it. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? You'll want to stick around to the end of the video to see if it's your creation that's being featured in today's video. I say the next time you're in Dollar Tree, stop by the toy aisle, pick up a couple boxes of these tumbling tower blocks, and do these ornament DIYs with me. For these first two ornaments, well, you're going to need seven of those blocks. I'm only showing five, but you're going to start off by painting one black and three white. And you're also going to need a red block. The red that I'm using is some of Waverly's Crimson with just a touch of brown to mute it out and rustic it up a bit. For this last block, I'm going with the neutral color. This is a versatile piece, so I say get creative and make it your own. You can totally see where I'm going with these DIYs. There is a bit of gluing that is needed. I'm going with a wood glue by Super Glue because I've seen great results with this. I would encourage you to use an adhesive glue versus a hot glue because when you use a hot glue, there is going to be a gap in between the blocks. And so for a more finished, polished look, you wanna use something like this glue that isn't gonna leave a gap. And so I'm gonna glue two of the white ones together with the black block. And you saw what I did with the red, neutral, and white one. Yep, the theme of these DIYs is definitely Frosty and Santa off to the side there. I did paint one of Dollar Tree's, I guess, beads, but I guess I'm not doing that yet. I'm going with some ribbon. This is a red gingham ribbon that I got at Michael's that I have been using for, I would say, most of my Christmas DIYs. I did a real fun hot cocoa tray the other day for my mystery box challenge, and yeah, this ribbon was the theme that went with that tray. And so for Frosty and his scarf, I'm using this ribbon, glad we had that talk. And for Santa, I wanted to go with a bit of a rustic look, and so I'm gonna use this burlap ribbon. Perfect, a rustic Santa hat, why not? Cause we can. And this bead, well, it is perfect for Santa's nose. For the face, I'm just gonna use some of Dollar Tree's puffy paint, or is it fabric paint? One and the same, I'm gonna say, because it's easy to work with. It's gonna add texture, dimension, and yeah. And so I'm just gonna keep it very basic and not overthink their faces. The more imperfect, the more perfect it is. It adds to that rustic feel, that handmade, homemade touch. Because these are ornaments, they need hangers. So I'm gonna use this fun new twine that Dollar Tree started carrying a few months back that I have been looking for an excuse to use. I'm gonna say that these are super cute, but they can be cuter. I feel like Frosty needs some rosy cheeks. So does Santa. An easy way to do that is to use an oil pastel. Yep, this is one by Crayola that Allie had in her stash. By taking a stipper brush and running it along that oil pastel, it's gonna put some of that oil pastel on your brush and you can then easily add that soft blended look to the cheeks of Santa so you're not getting those harsh lines by using paint. Dollar Tree has oil pastels, so I say pick up a pack and keep it in your stash. And with that, we've got two adorable ornaments. How stinking cute are these? I love them. For this next ornament, oh my word, I just love this one. You're gonna need three Jenga blocks. 
Now with these Jenga blocks, you're gonna glue two of them side by side and one mm -hmm, right here along the bottom. Because I'm decorating Ray's tree with my homemade DIY ornaments, I'm doing several of them. Once these are dry, we're gonna give them a good coating with some black chalk paint. And because this is Frosty's hat, it needs a ribbon right along the brim there. So I'm using a black and white, I guess, gingham, buffalo check, you choose, potato, potato. I'm taking some of these Christmas tree scraps and when I tell you they are scraps, they really were, they were in my trash from a garland I made. I'm gonna hot glue some to the brim and I'm gonna add some berries to it. This was a total afterthought. Some are gonna say, Kelly, why didn't you sand this hat beforehand? Well, because easy, it was an afterthought. Didn't think of doing it until after it was done. And once I was looking at it, I thought, self, this hat looks much too clean and neat and perfect. It needs to look a bit rustic, aged, distressed. And so yeah, with that, grab some sandpaper, sanded up those edges and just like that i'm happy it looks just the way i want this hat to look quick tip when you're diying your ornaments and you're placing that hanger on them if you glue i guess the ends on top of each other just like so and you have this loop it's gonna keep your ornament from twisting from side to side once you put it on the tree your ornament is gonna face forward and yeah i know those little things bother me and this is an easy way to stop that from happening would you take a look at how stinking cute these are quick easy budget friendly and they were made out of tumbling tower blocks it doesn't get any easier than this i love these you can make so many with one box of jenga blocks for this next ornament oh this is a cute one too you're gonna need four blocks and you're gonna glue them together in a square just like i'm doing here for these ornaments, I'm gonna go the traditional color route because I wanna add a bit of color to raise flock trees. So I'm gonna use that crimson red and the fern green by Waverly. And yes, they both have a bit of brown added to them. Going on to my computer, doing a Google image search, I looked up some Christmas clip art. Once I found the images that I was happy with, I went ahead and saved them to my computer and printed them out. And the size is one inch by one inch that is gonna fit perfect for these. So right on the back of it, I'm just gonna go ahead and take some hot glue, run it along those edges. Yeah, you can see that this paper, I, <laughs> I gotta tell you, when I was painting my ornaments, I thought I had grabbed a scrap paper out of my trash and I didn't, it was actually the clip art. And because I didn't want to reprint it out, it wasn't gonna show, so I just went ahead and cut it and used it anyway, because nobody's gonna be none the wiser. And so yet again, this was an afterthought. I'm telling you, my head has not been completely in the game, but it is in the game enough to get me by. I do suggest if you are going to sand your pieces down, you do it before you hot glue your image in. It will probably be a bit easier. But nonetheless, it worked, I got the job done, and I added that age distress look to these as well. And why not finish the front of this off with one of those fun little ornament packs that Dollar Tree has right now. They've got a great selection of them. I had this snowflake on hand, so that's what I'm gonna use. And again, I'm gonna add my twine hanger to the back because this is an ornament. These are so quick and easy and you can really get creative with these. Maybe put a regular picture in them. School pictures, gift them. Dollar Tree now carries Scrabble tiles. Amazing, right? They've got them in two different packs. You can get a natural wood pack or you can get a multicolored pack that is in black and white. Now Crafter Square, I am gonna tell you, I wish you would have either done a solid black pack and a solid white pack because I absolutely find it frustrating that it is a multicolored pack because I don't always wanna use black and white. I wanna use either black or white or this neutral wood. Nonetheless, for this DIY, I'm using the neutral wood. I was going to use the black and white, but I couldn't get an even pattern because of the colored letters. That was frustrating too. So for this, I'm spelling out Ray and Abiza. Abiza is his dog his labradoodle 
I wanted to add a bit of color and personality to this piece and an easy way to do that is using the ribbon, this red gingham ribbon for the hanger and to finish it off with one of my fun bows. Such a simple way to add those personalized ornaments onto your tree. This next one is so easy using these beads that you can get from Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree has a ton of different colors and styles of beads. I'm going with the raw wood ones because I have so many in my stash. You're gonna wanna get the multi-size pack. You're gonna start off by stringing them onto some twine or whatever it is that you wanna string them onto. You know me, I stay true to my nature. Twine, rustic, burlap. Yeah, that's the name of my tree. Well, race tree this year too. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the smaller ones and go small, medium, large, then go medium to small. And just like that, we've got a simple ornament that kind of, I guess, feels like something like an icicle. Yeah, why not? But it's beads. Love that. You can do it as long or as short as you want. For this one, we're going back to those Jenga blocks. You're going to need five Jenga blocks. I'm going to glue three together side by side. Then I'm going to take and glue two more, one along the top of those three and one along the bottom. My thoughts were to make these look like a door originally. Again, because I'm adding color to raised tree, I'm going to go with the traditional red and green and a black as well because we got to incorporate that rustic farmhouse feel into a flocked tree because why not? These DIY stickers are perfect embellishments for say some DIY ornaments. Now with these, I decided to put them on after I did the hanger in the back because I wanted to make them look dimensional. When adding these DIY ornaments, I added a bead to the back to elevate it up off of what was supposed to be a door. I didn't go that route because when I added a bead for the handle, it just kind of looked out of place. So I decided just to go with it because it still looked adorable. And yeah, I still hadn't caught on to distressing this before I finished the DIY itself, but nonetheless, it came out amazing. I did want to show you that somewhere along this journey of these DIY ornaments, I got hip to the process, got smarter, got my head out of the clouds, and figured out that it was easier just to distress it before I added the embellishments and the hanger. So it took me a minute this time, but it came together. So fun these are, right? Next up, we're switching gears a bit. Dollar Tree has these metal tags. They come in a two pack. And so with these, I thought it would be fun to give them a good coating with some of that Waverly red paint. When I apply paint to these galvanized pieces, I like to use a sponge dabber versus a brush for a couple of reasons. One, using a sponge dabber adds texture, and two, you're gonna get full coverage with just about one coat. If you use a paintbrush, you're gonna get brush strokes on it. It's a lot harder to get it even, and it's gonna take multiple coats to get full coverage. And so I say just use a sponge dabber and you're gonna be good to go. These are tags gift tags, right? Why not? And so with these, I used my Cricut and using some of Dollar Tree's vinyl, I went ahead and cut out just a to and from, and I thought it'd be fun to do one that says to dad from Visa and one that says to Visa from dad. And it was looking a bit too plain, so I decided to go in and add some of my stitching. Of course, why not? It adds so much to a DIY stitching, dots, squiggly lines, slashes, you choose. When adding the hangers onto these tags, I decided to do one at the top instead of having it hang from the side because I just wanted it to sit upright on the tree so you could read it. Yeah, that's why. Quick, easy, and adorable. For this next DIY, I am using these wood discs that I found at Michael's. This is a 16 pack that you're gonna get for $3. You can find a disc similar to this at Dollar Tree for $1.25, it's on the thicker side, but I say go to Michael's, go through their dollar bins, the one to $5 bins, because you are gonna find some really cool pieces like this. 
you're getting 16 for $3, so you can't beat that. That equals a lot of ornaments. To this, I would say to two thirds of the circle, I'm gonna paint it with some white chalk paint, leaving that top third blank. The top half, well, it's gonna get a good coating with some black paint and I'm freehanding it. I'm not worried about the line being perfect because it's gonna be covered up. If it wasn't gonna be covered up, I would most definitely use some painter's tape to cover that mess up, I just painted your basic popsicle stick black and it's gonna go right over that line and nobody will be none the wiser that I freehanded it. Look at easy peasy. And for the face of this snowman, again, I'm gonna use the puppy paint and I'm not gonna overthink it. I'm just gonna go with some dots and it's gonna have an adorable outcome. Just a bit of a tip, if you add some white highlights to the eyes and to the nose, it's really going to bring your character to life. And well, since I have so many of these snowflakes, why not add one to his hat? What a cute fun ornament, right? And you've got 16 round disc, so I say make 16. Oh wait, don't use all 16 of these round discs on the snowman because this DIY is quick and easy and has such a fun rustic feel to it. I'm gonna give this disc, yep, a good coating with some white chalk paint. This is a watered down chalk paint because it is not Waverly. I have ran out of Waverly chalk paint. I am using just a basic acrylic chalk paint, no, acrylic paint, not chalk paint. So it's gonna take a couple coats to get the full coverage that I'm looking for. I'm cheating, I am, because when I filmed this video, my Dollar Tree didn't have much Christmas decor out. Instead of using a vinyl, use window clings from Dollar Tree. That would be such a perfect alternative. I would have used it if they would have had it at my store, but since they didn't, this vinyl is gonna work. And I am just going to frame this wood disc out with some of Dollar Tree's wood beads. I feel like with the hanger, it is the perfect excuse to add a bit of color and add whatever decor style it is that you're trying to incorporate into your ornaments. And so buffalo check, black and white gingham kind of screams a farmhouse. And so it's gonna incorporate nicely into this, but I still felt like it was missing a little bit of something. And so I decided to finish this off with, yes, a gingham bow. And I think that that's the perfect finishing touch. Do a bunch of these and add these to your tree. For this last DIY, I will be using these wood tags. 36 came in this pack for $5. You can't beat that. There are so many things you can do with these besides ornaments, but today I'm doing an ornament. I'm gonna give these a good coating with some black chalk paint. And I'm doing several of these, remember, because I am decorating Ray's tree with all of my DIY ornaments. Although you won't get to see the tree done just yet because I haven't decorated it yet. But I will get to that. These tags, if you want to use them for regular gift tags as well, what a fun addition. And you can make them an ornament, put them on the gift for whoever you're gifting a gift to, to put on their tree. I love to gift ornaments on my gifts. To these tags, I'm just gonna add some fun festive words using that white vinyl that you can get from Dollar Tree by Crafter Square. Pick some up. Oh, why not? I can't help it. I'm gonna finish these off with some stitching too. When adding the twine to these wood tags, I didn't just wanna leave it at that. I figured, you know what? self you've got more of these wood beads so why not use it and add it to the top of that twine and just add a bit of something to it because why not because we can these are such fun quick easy budget friendly ornament diys that you can get creative with and make it your own Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? It's going out to Shelby Hudson, who's bringing to us her DIY Christmas tiered tray. Shelby, I am loving your fun and festive tiered tray. 
Thank you so much for sharing your creation with us today. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find these links in the description box below. I don't think I can pick a favorite. They are all so stinking cute, super easy to do, and the outcome of them. Tell me they don't have that handmade rustic feel to them. I can't wait to add these to Ray's Christmas tree because that's what all of these ornaments are for. This year, because we're spending so much time at Ray's house, we all love the Christmas season, and so I wanted to bring that spirit into Ray's house this year so we could all enjoy Christmas, whether we're at Ray's house or here. And so uh, I asked Ray what kind of tree he wanted. He wanted a flocked tree, and so I just picked him up a small six and a half foot flocked Christmas tree, and I thought it would be fun for us to DIY the ornaments to add to his tree this year, and that is just what we've done. I hope you all enjoyed today's DIY ornaments. Let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite. If you're interested in seeing more DIY Christmas ornaments, maybe a personalized one, make sure to click on the video right over here and it'll take you to one of my favorites. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy. But most of all, you know what I'm gonna say. Something I keep telling myself over and over again these days. Stay positive, please. 